Everything seems to be sticky now. People are building some really cool websites using this effect and finally Figma allowed us to do the same. In this video, I will show you three examples of how to exploit this new feature in less than five minutes. Let's dive right into it. Full disclosure, I will be using Bill's page website for this tutorial because I was just too lazy to design something from scratch and I really like their website, so why not? By the way, I use this plugin called HTML to design where you can paste a link and get the Figma design in a matter of seconds. For the first example, we're gonna be building the exact same effect Buildspace has on their website. So when you scroll, you have a full block of content covering the previous block. To make this effect work, there are three things that you need to consider when you're building your landing page. The first one is to design in blocks. That means that each section should be self-contained in terms of content. Your content cannot continue to the next block because that will ruin the effect. The second thing is the block size. Since you want to have the effect that one is fully covering the previous one, your blocks should always be the screen size. And you also need to make sure that the content fits in that size because you don't want to leave any content out because you will not be able to scroll it. The third thing to consider is the background. You need to have in each block a solid background to cover the previous one. Otherwise, you will see the content behind and that will ruin the effect. So once you have those three points covered, all you need to do is to create a new frame that will be your main frame. Then you start drag and dropping your designs inside your new block. I'll extend this. Once you have two inside, you can make it uh, an auto layout. I think that will make it easier. And of course, it should be zero. Yeah, you can just drop it from here. And since it's an auto layout, I can order by pressing shift and an arrow. So once you have all your blocks inside your main frame, do you select all of them? And come here in prototype and change to scroll to sticky. And that's it. Now let's take the prototype. And we have the first example ready. For the second example, I wanted to show you a version where one part of your page is sticky and the other part is not. So here we have all the page scrolling, but when you get to a certain point, the text is sticky, but the images are continue scrolling with the page. So I have my designs ready, but as you can see here, we don't have any sticky effect when I scroll. To make the, the sticky effect to the to the text, first without before changing this to from scroll to sticky, all I need to do is to add some padding on the top. And this will probably be a trial and error for you to find the right position. I know for me, for at least for this design, that the padding I want is this white space I have here. So I can extend my container to the top. And then I will bottom left align, center align, whatever I need. And then I select my component and make this sticky. Then I come back here and I have the effect I want. That's it. We finished the second example. And the third example and my absolute favorite is this car stacking effect. You can't imagine how hard it was to build something like this in Figma before having this new feature. So the trick to have this card overlapping effect is to have a top and left padding that should be increasing with each card. And as you can see, each of my card has its own auto layout or is contained into its own auto layout. And that makes it easier for me to handle the top and left padding and increase it gradually. So for me, I choose to have a 30 pixel step. That means that each card will be increasing its padding by 30 pixels. So the first one will have 100 for left, 130 to top, then 130, 160. The third one has 160, 190, and the last one will have 190 and 220. Once you have all of your padding set, you select four of your cards. Come here to prototype, change to sticky. And now if we go back to prototype, we have this card effect. And that's it. I hope you fully understand now how Sticky Scroll works in Figma. And if you want to learn more about Figma and product design, follow me and see you on my next tutorial. Bye bye.